Hey, what's going on fellas? Welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get best FPS and performance in GTA 5M, the roleplay servers. Once again, I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. I will clear all doubts and make sure that your game works much faster. So, with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so the really first thing is as always create a restore point and this is a really important step. Search for create a restore point and then system protection will open right in front of you. In this list select local list C and then click on create. Name it 5M and simply click on create button. Once again, we do this step to ensure our system's protection. If anything goes wrong or against our will or against our system, you can always restore everything back to where nothing has happened. So this is one of the very important step. I highly recommend you guys to not skip it. Once it's done, simply click on close and click on OK. Step number two is locating your GTA 5. If you have downloaded GTA 5 from Steam, simply search for GTA 5 over here. If you have downloaded from Epic Games, simply right click on the game, go to manage and then browse local files. You can do it either way. Once you are in here, you have to make a command line.txt file which have this line in here. So what you can do is simply right click, click on new and make a text document, name it command line.txt and in here paste this line. You can find this line in the description below. Once you are done with this tab, simply select gda5.exe, right click it, go to properties, then compatibility and then disable full screen optimizations. Once you're done with that, click on apply, click on OK. Now once you're finally done with that, simply copy the location, the file path of your GDA5 and then search for graphic settings in your taskbar. Once you are here, make sure to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, click on browse and then paste this path in here. Now click on gta5.exe, click on add. Now I've already added gta5 in here. So simply go to options and then select high performance. And once you are in here, click on browse and also paste the 5M location in here and then add 5M.exe. Go to options and then select high performance and click on save. Make sure it is utilizing your graphics card. Once it's done, simply close your graphics settings and then download the GTA 5 FPS pack. Once you're done with that, simply download the 5M FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below as well. Super easy to download. If you can't download it from the link, you can download it from my Discord server as well. Simply open up the 5M FPS pack and in here you'll find a GTA 5 config. Now I have provided high end, low end and medium end config. So for that, simply open up your files and then in here go to your this PC. In that you have to go to documents, then go to Rockstar Games. GTA 5 and in here you'll find a settings.xml file. I highly recommend you guys to drag it to a safe folder like desktop or somewhere where you can keep these files safe. Now I've already bagged up my settings.xml so just keep it somewhere safe and then copy this file into your GTA 5 folder. Now I've already done that and once you're done with that you will instantly see your FPS boost. However you have to compromise a little bit of your gameplay quality. Once you're done with the config, go to the GTA 5 priority and run either high priority, either normal priority. Which one suits best for you? And go back into the third folder, which is the optimizations folder. And in here, you'll find your RAM optimization as well as your Windows optimization. Go into the RAM optimization and select the memory that you have. If you don't know which memory you're using, simply search for system information and then you will find your installed physical memory over here. For me, I'm using 16 GB. So I have 16 GB RAM registry over here. Simply right click and merge it or simply double click to run it. Once again, if anything goes wrong, we also have a reset to default over here. I have already provided a lot of presets over here, so I hope that helps you out. Next one is the Windows optimization and in here we have CPU tweaks, all the other registries. So make sure to run all of them as well as the CPU tweaks, make sure to run all of them. This will optimize your CPU and your computer to run at its maximum performance. Completely safe to do. Once you're done with the optimizations folder, we have the programs folder and in here, first of all, we have an ISLC. So once you open up ISLC, you have to see the list size at least. Over here, you have to select half of your total system memory. 
So for me, it's gonna be somewhere around 8000 MB and free memory is lower than 1024. So whenever your PC has a free memory lower than 1024, it will clear 8000 megabytes of your memory. Also for wanted timer resolution, I highly recommend you guys to go for 0.50 and click on enable custom timer resolution. Now once again, if you guys are know what you're doing, you can do it. For the ISLC polling rate, I highly recommend you guys to go for either 500 or 1000, whichever suits best for you, and then simply click on start. Once it is started, click on purge standby list and minimize it. Now make sure that you have it running in your taskbar over here. Go back into the second folder which is the MSI Utility V3. Simply run it as administrator. Now in here you have to find your RTX 2070 Super and then click on undefined, select high, click on apply and close it. This will allow your GPU to run on its maximum performance. Next one is Process Lasso and this is a very important tool. Simply run it as administrator and Process Lasso should open just like this. Now over here, you have to go to file and then import configuration. And in the same folder, I have provided a best config for GTA 5. So simply open it up in here and then simply click on OK. And now your GTA 5 will be on the maximum priority. So that will give you best performance in game. Once you're done with all of those things, open up the ultimate power plan.txt, copy this whole string and then open command prompt as administrator. And in the command prompt, paste the simple line, press enter, and then you will see your ultimate performance. Go to control panel and then search for power options. Make sure to select ultimate performance out of all the power plans. If you don't see ultimate performance, it must be under the hide additional power plans. Once you're done with that, simply open up your GTA 5 or your 5M for the best in-game settings. As you guys can see in-game, I'm getting over 184 FPS. It has taken away the quality of the game, but the FPS is much higher. Once again, if you do not like anything, you can go into the settings section and in here go to graphics section and change anything that you want, but make sure that you are playing on full screen, not not the windowed full screen or windowed borderless because full screen allows your game to consume as much as processing power so as you guys can see on the video memory i am having over 922 mb so just make sure that your video memory consumption is lowest as possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot we are really close to 60,000 subscribers and i believe in you guys we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching Barafox and Peace out.